Well, hello there everyone, David your friend, the Hairy Scotsman, back once again. Now, I was out in Tesco's earlier on today, and I found something that I've never seen before. It is a bowl of stuff called Sun He Udon Noodle Bowl Sweet and Sour Flavour. I'm going to change the glasses over, I should have had these ones on ready. Uh, Korean style Udon Noodles with a deliciously tangy sweet and sour sauce. Okay, you can microwave it in two minutes. Apparently it's vegan friendly. There's some traffic lights. I'll let you see what it looks like. That's the bowl there. I'll let you see the traffic lights. Right behind there. Now. On the back. Udon noodles in a tiny sweet and sour sauce sachet, dehydrated veg and roasted sesame seeds. 78% Udon noodles. It tells you what they're made of. Loads of other stuff. 20% sweet and sour sauce. Blah, 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 blah. Heating instructions. 800 watts for two minutes. Uh, remove the noodles from the packaging and place back in a bowl, in the bowl. Add two tablespoons of water, the sachet contents. Place the lid loosely on the bowl, microwave on high for two minutes. Stir until all sauce is evenly mixed throughout the noodles. Sprinkle on the sesame seeds and enjoy. And then there's the warning. Caution, the contents will be very hot. Handle with care. So, let me have a peek there. That's all the energy stuff on it. Cooking instructions, various blurb on the bottom, what you can recycle. You can recycle the bowl. I keep the bowls. Um, because that, well, yeah, I'm, this is the first time I've had this one. But that's a nice sized little bowl with a lid on it. So why would you recycle that? You can use it for something else. Um, grab my scissors, snip the plastic. I should peel off now. That goes. Right. So microwave oven safe. Whee. So we've got thing of sauce, veggie, and sesame, and then we have some really thick noodles. And can you tear it? Or oh, it's got a teary thing on it as well. Into it. So, yeah, that tears out no problem. Get a blow, make sure there's nothing in there. Get it stuck in the bottom corner. There we go, that's it in there. So we'll break it up. Ooh, it feels like Play Doh. Very thick noodles, fresh noodles, they're not dry. As I say, it's like Play Doh. Show that in there. That's it all kind of separated up in there. Like that. Yeesh. Now put the sauce in. That's horrible on hands there. Let's that off a bit. There's a wee tear thing there as well. That's going to go everywhere so I'm going to snip it like that. And put all that in here. And then 
I'm going to put it down there a minute because it's all just sticking in the packet. dehydrated veg, I have to be honest with you. I don't even know what it is. Uh, probably with red peppers in it and crud like that. Dehydrated vegetables, carrot, green onion. Oh, that actually might be alright. We'll soon find out, won't we? It does tear a bit, not very well. Alright, we'll get a sprinkle one, why not? Right, I'm going to go and put some water in it and nuke it. Um, so I'll be back in about two-ish minutes, maybe three, by the time I've got it all running right. So. Watch this space. Now I'm back. Right, that was a couple of minutes in the microwave. It actually smells really quite good. That was a bit hot, the steam coming out. In fact, it goes far as to say that was awfully hot. You can probably see the steam coming up in front of me here. Right, so. I've got it on a wee tray here just to make it easier. I'm going to give it a stir round. Like that. It actually does smell really quite good. Now, as I say, I've got these in Tesco. There's four different ones, so I've got another three to do after this, which I won't be doing today. Um, where did the sesame go? There it is. So, tear that off. Not quite enough, we'll cut the top off. Ping wallet and we'll give it a wee wrinkle of sesame. I tell you something, you a hell of a lot of sesame seeds. There we go. I could have probably grown some of them. Uh, it's still absolutely burny, scorchy hot. So I'm going to give it a couple of seconds just to. Let all the flavours go in, in other words, let it cool down slightly. Um, this is a bit ago. I really am appreciating all the folk that have subscribed recently and all the folk that have been with me from the start that sometimes still watch. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go on. Let you know when I'm putting more of these up. Um, it's not all food things that I do, I mean, I do other things. I've show around about where I live in Scotland and all that sort of thing. So if you're interested in that as well, how we look. Um, if you like what I do, there's a like button there. If you don't like what I do, there's a dislike button there. Makes no odds to the algorithm, it just lets them know that folk are actually watching. I would appreciate it with the like ones so, and not the dislikes. Um, and hopefully you'll get to see more of these when I put them up. So. That's what it looks like. It's getting really close on this one. Let's give it a wee try. As I say, I've never found this one yet. There's a company I've never heard of as well. Uh, Sun He. And it's got a picture of a panda with chopsticks eating noodles. Didn't know pandas could use chopsticks. 
and there were some humans that kind of used chopsticks. So, that's what it looks like. It is still steamy hot. Let's give it a try. wasn't expecting that. It's a very mild sweet and sour. Something just tingled on the tip of my tongue there. I don't think there might be any chilies or anything in it. Mm. Oh, there's a little bit of chilli in it. Usually there's not a lot. It's a bit of paprika. That's quite warming. That's not bad at all, actually. Uh, sesame seeds add a nice little crunch to it. The noodles are quite chewy. They're really nice. Um... The veg that's in it, a little bit of carrot, it's dehydrated carrot, that's pretty much all you can say about that. Um, yeah. You can taste the sweetness on it. There's a little bit of chilli there, I can feel it. It's not hot. Well, temperature wise it's quite warm, but spice wise it's not hot by any stretch. But there's a nice little glowing tingle coming in there. I think it might be a grower, but as I say, it's not... If you don't like spice, it should be fine for you. Um, it's literally just a little tickle. They're actually really good noodles. I'm looking forward to trying the other ones as well. Um, I say there's four flavours. There's one that's goji jong. There's a teriyaki. And there's something else which I can't remember off the top of my head. And this one which is the sweet and sour. It's 240 grams. So it's more of a snack than a meal. Um... Sorry, I've got pigeons landing out in the garden there. They're just catching my eye on the other side here. Um, got a good date on it. 4th to 11th, 24. Um, yeah. These Korean noodles. Koreans really do good noodles. I have found that. I've never really done the udon noodle. You know, the really thick ones like this. But these are nice, they're, they're kind of chewy, but soft at the same time. I know that sounds weird, but um, they've got a nice bite to them. Two quid a bowl. Um, it'd be better if it was a wee bit cheaper, maybe 150 a bowl, but... It does taste good. The packaging's really good quality. And you get a free bowl that you can use after it. So. I don't know if you can hear that. I've got a pigeon. I'm in the conservatory at the moment. I've got a pigeon walking across the roof. It sounds like it's got big boots on. Mm. I'll definitely get more of these. These are really tasty. I'm going to have to look them up as well, see if it's just the four flavours to do or what. But yeah. So. Sun He. With your little 
uh, panda. I'll let you see panda there. There's panda. Keep me panda. All the pandas that were in Scotland, the two of them are away back to China now, apparently. Probably too cold for them here anyway. So, on that note, I'm going to toddle off and finish these. Because they're really good. So, take care of yourselves everyone. Hopefully I'll be speaking to you all again very, very soon. And, see ya.